Tule elk are one of four elk species found in California. Endemic to California, they are also considered the most specialized elk species in North America. According to the National Park Service, the Tule elk population are a representation of what California's wild nature used to look like. In the early 1800s, it was estimated that there were more than 500,000 Tule elk roaming across the state. However, with the gold rush of 1849 came a massive influx of European settlers. Tule elk were heavily hunted during this period as they were a good source of protein, tallow, and hide. At the same time, elk habitat was being converted to agriculture. By 1870, over the course of a decade, they were thought to be nearly exterminated. A last group of what was estimated as four to five tule elk were found in a drain swamp in Bakersfield. They are considered the source of the tule elk population in California today. Tule elk received official protection in 1971 with State Senate Bill 722 prohibiting hunting of tule elk, then numbering into 500, until their population reached 2,000. In 1978, the state decided to reintroduce tule elk into the Point Reyes National Seashore in a designated wilderness reserve area. In the past 40 years, as a result of management efforts by the California Department of Fish and Game, the elk population grew to 2,000 in 1989. By 1998, there are more than 3,000 elk in California. Thanks to their reintroduction efforts, there are now a few hundred elk in the Point Reyes Tule Elk Reserve alone. There are 22 herds with numbers estimated over 5,000 throughout California, and they are expanding into landscapes where they vanished nearly a century ago. In limited space, a growing elk herd can outgrow its environment, which leads to overpopulation, habitat destruction, stress, starvation, and disease. To mitigate these issues, conservation efforts should focus on improving or sustaining suitable habitat as well as identifying potential new locations. This study aims to identify suitable habitats for Tule Elk in Marin County, in addition to the Point Reyes Tule Elk Reserve. Marin County includes a diverse range of land uses, from highly protected nature reserves to heavily populated urban areas. The analysis relies on three primary data sources. Existing vegetation type data from the National Park Service were clipped to the study area and reclassified to a common suitability scale. Tule elk prefer grasslands and wetlands and tend not to venture near paved roads. Rose data from the U.S. Census Tiger Lines project were clipped to the study area. The Euclidean distance tool was used to generate the distance to roads raster. The kernel density tool was used to generate the roads density raster. Both rasters were reclassified to a common suitability scale. Tule elk habitat are generally a good distance from paved roads as well as away from areas with high roads density, such as urbanized areas. Elevation data from the USGS National Elevation Dataset were clipped to the study area. The slope tool was used to create a slope raster and then reclassified to a common suitability scale. Tule elk prefer minimal slope, therefore any slope greater than 20 degrees was considered less suitable for elk habitat. After processing our initial data, we ran a weighted overlay analysis in order to determine the final suitable sites for Tule Elk in Marin County. Based on our literature review, we identified reasonable weights for our parameters. The analysis indicates that there are many suitable areas for Tule Elk in Marin County, with the less suitable sites located primarily in urban areas such as San Rafael and along the 101. In evaluating the proportions of suitable areas within nationally maintained areas such as the Point Reyes National Seashore, and the Golden Gate National Recreation Area, the most suitable sites for Tule Elk are relatively evenly distributed between nationally maintained areas and areas outside. We overlaid our suitability output with the 2013 Tule Elk Connectivity Model. The model was developed from a study generated through a multi-agency effort headed by the Science and Collaboration for Connected Wildlands that delineates the areas with potential breeding habitats for Tule Elk. We find that approximately 12% of the best areas and 24% of the fair areas from our suitability analysis overlap with the breeding habitat patches from the study. The differences are likely due to the 2013 study using only two variables in vegetation and road density, as opposed to the four variables used in our study. Ultimately, we find that there are still considerably large areas of land available for Tule Elk inside the Marin County boundary and thus some relocation from the current main reserve in the Point Reyes National Seashore is definitely possible. The Tule Elk population may never return to what it once was, but with continued research and balanced urban development with land restoration efforts, we can better manage a recovering elk species that was once thought to be lost forever.